We are back from hiatus and Misfit of Demon King Academy is back. Last time we left off with, I drew a sword. Wait, I drew a sword, but I didn't draw a sword. And by being the almighty who can draw a sword that can't be drawn, I am the almighty. I, I think there, there was some stuff like that going on. It's his usual misfit humor. Now, I think that Ahide got away, but the selection exam is like still going, right? And Arcana is now our selection goddess. And we pretty much just like gave her, like, we, we gave her salvation, even though God is supposed to give other people salvation. Interesting how a Demon King is doing all that. Now, in the post credit scene, there were some moments in the past where a girl was calling us like Oni-san, right? Oni-chan or something, right? We have apparently a little sister that we forgot about. Let's begin today's reaction. Arcana as a kid. There's no way that, uh, like, 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 bare feet children. Why do they do this? Why? Wh what is up with bare feet and kids? Like, they always do that in anime, bro. There's something so creepy about it. Anos! Anos shoe? Anos or Anos shoe? Onichan! They're actually blood-related siblings? And she lost all her memories in the future. When she became a god, did she, did she like lose memories or something? Is there some kind of mechanic like that? <laughs><笑><笑> Oh! Oni Chan Riz! You're my only family. Do we know anything about Anos' family before like 2000 years ago? We don't, right? Because we just see him as a demon king. And then there's like Yusha Cannon and there's Shin. But other than that, I don't think there's ever mention of a dad or a mom or any siblings, right? So Arcana is apparently a sister, but mom got killed by a human, really? Oh, that's a long time ago. I don't remember that. Okay, parents are quote unquote dead, but who's really dead in this fucking series? You need to correct her. She sneaked out. Oh. But I know what's going on. You actually have a sister? Uh. Why do you look? Wait, wait, doesn't he look bigger? Wait, does he look bigger here? Wait, 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 we went to bed and then, wait, we went to bed and then Anos woke up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ar Arcana though, did she also grow? I can't tell. I think they, 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 this is the present, right? No, no, this is the present, this is the present. I'm like, I'm like, did we go to bed and then both of them grew bigger? No, 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 it's the present, it's the present, it's the present. Oh, Jesus Christ. The Great Demon King Drills. <laughs> More competition. That's right, she's living with us now. The wording of this is, uh... So she overslept because it's Arcana's fault. Because Arcana put too much strain on him last night. Okay. What kind of strain? He wanted it! The strain! Okay, Mika's actually interested. Oh, that's what the dream was. Okay, okay, so that's the actual strain here, guys. Not Nothing sussy. Use the God of Memories order to use... Bring his memories back. How convenient. If you want to use a god's order, right? If you want to use the order in the most efficient way, you gotta be naked and touching skin. Very convenient, okay. <laughs> Immoral god. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Did someone say immoral? Father appear. Oh! Anos is making a baby! <laughs> My one month old child! <laughs> Keep staring, father! <laughs> the 
parents are the best. Kiss on you, Miva. Ore no Kako to you, Kotoka. Nani Omita. You're my sister. Yeah, her name is Arcana. Somo somo nisen nen mai no ore wa. Don't even know the parents! What? It's just, he's such a giga chad that it's like, yes, my mom will die when she has birth because I'm a fucking demon king. Well, that means that dad's still alive, right? You think it's just a coincidence? They're the twins. There's two arcanas. They both look like each other. Hmm. That name? Demon Eye of Destruction. She literally described the two sisters together, right? Listen. Yeah, she got the demon and demonic eyes, and Misha has creation. That's why they were called, the combination was called that god, right? They, they must be the descendants of the absurdity god. It's clearly you two related. <laughs> Oh, fusion! Boing! Is that spin necessary? What is the point of the spin at the end? Bang! <laughs> Alright, cool, cool, cool. Destruction? Goddess of absurdity. All right, we got a new girl, even though it's basically two girls together. Her name is now Aisha. Misha, Sasha, Aisha. All right. What's it called? The eyes? This called those eyes with demonic eyes of creation. And okay, it's, wow, very original. That was so weird. That was so weird. Like Sasha's voice came out, then Misha's voice came out in the same body. Sasha? Misha. Alright, I remember that shit from season one. That's right, I remember that. Dun dun dun! Oh god, so uncanny. Do memories are never preserved in this show? Everyone just forgets everything. No soul. They can bypass that. They have a soul. Season 1. There was four shot of that back? Fucking Misfit of Demon King Academy and just so many reincarnations and just memories, bro. The memory loss is literally the driving factor of all the plot and how the story can like remain fresh. Even though you think you knew everything, it's like, nah, there's this whole other shit that happened before and we just completely forgot about it. That just adds to a new fucking arc, bro. Yeah, exactly. Shit's called a Reincarnation Academy, bro. Memory Loss Academy. Dementia Academy. Misfit of the Demon King Academy, my ass. Misfit of the fucking Dementia Academy, bro. おやばいんじゃないかしら。何忘れている記憶をたどっていけば、おのずとその正体が。いや、いやがらがネイケド、ライト。オーステン。どうやるのよ。先天審判は審判の秩序により成り立つと言われている。イージー、アノスキンド
クエスがいるなら、すべての神の力を使えるってことでしょう。That's kind of OP, yeah. ならば、世界を滅ぼしてる。Uh, okay, where are we gonna live then? Where are we gonna live then? まあ、とにかく、クリアニューワールドアフターナイロニング。スペシャルクラス。エルドメイド今日の授業はなんと、大魔王 Oh, why Shin here too? Ninji Koshi, Bogak no Mao, Your Highness! <laughs> and these motherfuckers all disrespected us so much throughout season one and a little bit of season two, right? And also, where's Ano Shu at? Hmm? Isn't it kind of interesting that there is no Ano Shu, but Anos is back? Hmm, have you guys seen Ano Shu and Anos in the same room? <laughs> よく覚えている。誰がいつどっちとの思い出を何一つ忘れていない。<笑> All the insults and disrespect I remember。何を取れていらっしゃる。Nah, he's a benevolent king。You know they keep calling him tyranny, you know tyrant, but I don't feel like he's a tyrant at all. Well, depends on what your definition of a tyrant is. If it does a benevolent tyrant exist, like a really happy, like positive. Wholesome tyrant. He's a dictator, but he's like, he only does really good things. I don't know. Sasha, no. Shut him up. Destruction eyes. <laughs> the secret recipe! Nisha just leaked mom's secret recipe, the mushroom soup! <laughs> No, no, chill, guys. The misunderstanding. Will they? I'm not sure if they will. That's right. Drag to know it's Libra. Oh, field trip? Field trip to the dragon people. This is this is the worst day of school, bro. You just show up thinking it's a random fucking Tuesday. It's like, all right, class. Some of you may die. Some of you may live. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Should have stayed home today, man. Okay, okay, okay. At least gives that option. Hmm? What? Indirect... Maiden voyage. What is the meaning of indirect maiden voyage? Because they're going to a different place with Anos and their fangirls. Do they consider themselves maidens? But this is indirect because this is a field trip. It is a date. It is a date, but it's not a date because it's a field trip. That is the voyage. I think so. <laughs> We're getting buffs? We're gonna be super strong? They keep doing that shit every time. Why did they? This is not the first time. Y'all see this shit all the time, right? What the fuck? Like every time they show this fucking underneath the ground cave for like a second during these intermission scenes. Like what the f? They keep doing that. <laughs> oh, Anos is penetrating us. Oh, it's their peak identity. Where's the castle? Right? Is it nearby? He can only do this when the fucking castle's nearby, right? Yo. Okay, okay. So it's like. These are all clones, and they're all like super like cracked versions, and basically the best version they'd ever be. And now they're gonna be roasting them the entire time. Damn, that feels bad. Imagine yourself, your idealized version, just roasting you. Like you trash, bro. I'm just gonna kill you? Then I'm gonna revive you? Remember the sensation? Now try it yourself. <laughs> Fan club. 
浮かない顔をしているな居残り後ろがないってことですよね魔王のエドニカは完璧だその判定が Your idealized version is cracked You can do it too だがこの獅子王は違う学院の入学試験で魔力がゼロと測定された魔族がいたアノス in the season one 彼は不適合しそれってそう暴虐の魔王、right. アノスボルディゴードだ光っていただけで They considered アノスと be the real one 同じことではないかつまり大きな力を秘めているのだ Great teacher, great teacher, right? Sometimes you are a fish trying to climb a tree But、uh, should a fish be trying to climb a tree? No, a fish is supposed to be in water swimming right sometimes you focus too much on the things that your tunnel vision and things that other people expect you to do well when you're really cracked in a completely different way all you gotta do is shift the perspective and maybe you're really good at something else bro such a good character man Wait! He's gonna give her the wand? Wait, wait, wait. One on one tutoring session from Nino Sensei? Chill. Each other? Arcana! Is this how he summons Pokemon? The gods? You need to say this? Yeah, selection ring, right? Guana Forka Ari or something. I mean, it's like summoning Pokemon. Okay. We just collect them, we store them, we summon them. Mother and child? What are, you, what are these lovers gonna do? Are we gonna force the lovers to fight against each other? How are they gonna train? They need to test their love by getting cucked. We need like someone else to get in and try to like break their love apart. And they need to fucking work on their power of love, bro. What's gonna happen? They just need to make what? Go make love? Just go fuck? <laughs> what, what is it? <laughs> yeah, that was some bullshit, bro. Yeah. I okay, compete. Father! Oh. Wait! Wait! The power of love versus the power of love! Oh shit! <laughs> no. this is, these two love each other romantically. But Shin loves Anos as like his master or some shit. Is this? I mean, is there romance between Shin and Anos? I don't think so. It's just he has so much respect. He loves his master, right? But like, this shit. <laughs> Peak misfit humor, man. These are the lies. Did you really think that you couldn't use the power of love if you weren't lovers? Well, I mean, he just confirmed right now that they don't really clap cheeks, right? But you never know. There must be. If I just go to Pixiv right now, if I just go to some different websites and type up, you know, Shin Exanos or something, like, I bet you I could find some art. What is this right now, bro? It's like. Misa? Misa's training is to fight with the magic power of love by teaming up with her boyfriend or her, her, her pretty much boyfriend against her dad's boyfriend. That's what's happening right now. Misa has to fight against her dad and her dad's boyfriend. <laughs> I'll show you love in all its different shapes and sizes. Is my man a size queen? This is some freaky dialogue right now, Anos. What do you mean? What 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 you trying to say right now, my man? Oh, they're gonna actually fight. What? That I love dark Misa more than light. Oh! What? <laughs> The heart bubble is so funny, bro. How is she every 
every scene seems so fucking funny. Every scene that shit is in, just, it turns out to be peak comedy. You would never expect it with a character like this, right? Like, what the fuck? He's still trying to get the father-in-law as, like, um, a blessing, right? Yeah, did we knock her up? What happened, bro? What happened to Misa? I don't know. Oh, what the fuck? Snow? <laughs> what is this secret technique from Shin? What is this? This sword strike? <laughs> Bro, put him through a fucking flashback! Schizo delusion where Shin is kicking Lei out of the house. You are not worthy of my daughter. Be gone to the streets. That's that kind of attack right now, bro. That's why I say this show is so fucking funny. Like Konosuba levels of comedy sometimes. The sources. Lisa! <laughs> Love and hate into one. The power of hate. Dad fucking hates it that Shin's banging his sorry. Lay's banging his daughter. Thank you very deep. That's what dad is right now. Yeah. <laughs> Parental love, bro. My favorite mode, man. I wonder how Shin feels about it. Oh my god, Amos is about to, you know, try to persuade daddy. But daddy's gonna be like, See, this is what happens when my daughter is hanging out with these fucking hoodlums. You've turned goth. You've turned... What is that lipstick shit? I didn't raise my daughter to be a goth girl. Let's see it. Oh my god. I am not father. <laughs> <laughs> Is today the day he gives him the blessings? <laughs> Why, you think this is puppy love? Mom? Little! Oh. You, oh, you cheeky cheek! Also, you top her all the time at night, I know you do, but cheeky, bro. It's like, what? Little! 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 <laughs> Not good enough? Oh wait, Anos is getting involved! His love for Shin? Yeah, that's, that's a... <laughs> love between friends! Guys, this is not homosexual, okay? This is homosexual. It's not gay to, you know, smooch your buddies in bed and tuck him in at night. Master subordinate, kind of kinky. <laughs> ah, the bromance is stronger. The bromance is stronger than Nisa and Leif. Fan club can't even fucking fathom. <laughs> this shit's so stupid, I love it. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. <laughs> Oh no! Flaunted all for the world to see your true love. Next episode, bro, at school, they're just gonna be making out. They're just gonna be holding out. They're just gonna be holding hands, making out in public, PDA everywhere, bro. Oh, shit is gonna be upset about this. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> How is this so peak right now? Because like this is so corny and this is so cringe, but because they fully embrace it, it's just so fucking peak comedy straight up on that Konosuba tier, bro. They're touching swords. They are. They're touching the tips, bro. They're having a little water fight right now. What the fuck is going on? Holy! They got beat by her dad and her boyfriend. Good question. Have you ever seen Anoshu and Anos in the same room? Someone said they have. I don't remember that scene. But good question. Where is Anoshu? He's with Amelia Sensei, raising her up, eating canned tuna and crackers. That's what they're doing. <laughs> Anoshu 
But what if- Stop it! Stop it! What do you mean, guy? He's invisible! I don't shoot a prodigy as a pr You know, you can't even trace his aura energy, nothing. That's how good he is. Such a prodigy, right? Only he could conceal him like that. <laughs> what a goofy ass episode. <laughs> yeah, amazing. He truly is a prodigy. In simpler terms, he's a god. <laughs> what? What? Imagine you're the kids. You just get gaslit, it's like he's invisible, and then he's like, oh, by the way, this is a god? He's gonna help us. Bye-bye now. What the fuck just happened? Oh. Entrance. <laughs> but holy shit, today was actually like peak episode. And these are honestly my favorite misfit of demon king academy episodes because i'm too stupid to follow with the plot and i like to have a little bit of cope and think that the enemy doesn't really do a good job in introducing all the different mechanics and the fundamentals for people to kind of go off of here's how i feel about misfit of demon king academy most of the times you know how you like start a test you start like an exam and you see the first page and you're like ah shit I didn't study this stuff. I forgot. Uh, you know what? I'll skip the next page and then go back to first page later. And you skip the next page. And what does page two have? More questions based off of the first page. It's like math. You skip one day and every other day builds on top of those concepts. And if you don't have the fundamentals, you are fucking cooked. That's how I feel about this show most of the times. But... Sometimes there's these episodes where everyone can just enjoy goofy, nonsensical fun. This power of love shit was so fucking funny. It's actually on that Konosuba tier. This fit in terms of entertainment, like 10 out of 10 episodes. I don't care about whether or not it's an objectively good episode. Pure enjoyment, it is so good. Regarding the plot, seems like Equis is a concept. No one's ever seen these other crazy gods before. And we're going down with the kids on a field trip. And I'm not really sure what the point of this is. We're going to expose them to the Draconoids and figure out more secrets. That's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist here for more content. And until next time, take care.